Good evening, um, welcome back to Wednesday night's Corona Cast, for want of a better title. Um, it's our live information, advice, support and recommendations um, YouTube channel, um, hosted by Dan here in the South Costa Blanca, um, along with our um, local correspondent Frankie and uh, national. British uh, Northern European correspondent Paul D. Nichols, who I'm sorry to uh, announce is, is absent due to illness today, but not not a COVID related, COVID 19 related outbreak in his world. Thank God. Well, anyway, we are going to be wor- welcoming Frankie onto the, um, our virtual stage soon. Um, and uh, as, I've, as, as I've entitled this broadcast, uh, we're looking at um, a quite historical day in which um, COVID-19 has officially been classed a pandemic, an international epidemic. Um, and we've seen the, the full ferocity of this new strain of flu, excuse me, in uh, the old European country, obviously, where he is now. That's our subject for tonight, and here's Frank um, calling um, live from the Royal Cross So, Frank. So, Frank. Oh, a chew. Bless you. Are you live with us? Are you suffering from the oh, from, oh are you suffering from the same malady as Paul D. Nichols in, in Rochdale? No, what is the way what's wrong? What's wrong? Well he wouldn't say. He was keeping it very keeping those those cards very close to his chest. Being that we are oh. in health information. I maybe he had some kind of maybe there's hay fever starting soon. Hay fever's on the way out it's here already. Oh, oh. In North Lancashire. Oh, we don't have much hay right, right there. Don't. They have moors and stuff. <laughs> right, well, there might be something for the moors. It tends to be the people there, they suffer from eating bad curries generally, you know, a bad bald tea. That tends to be one yeah. that reflects them. Um, they get lots of floods too. They do get forest yeah. fires up on the moors, strange, strange to think of it. You think of yeah. these bad. It's always stick to the road, never cross the moors. That's what they used to say. Yeah, you might meet a werewolf. <laughs> that's that's for sure. A werewolf in Rochdale if, if there's a, a, yeah. you know, a bad moon rising. Yeah, yeah. I see a bad moon rising. Yeah, so Frank is our resident <laughs> singer-songwriter. He's composed a, a coronavirus um, charity song to draw yeah. the world's attention to, to, the, to the danger of, of, of this new flu. Uh, I think yeah. we might we might end the show with a rendition this evening, but um, you you'll find um, you'll find all the all such videos on our, on our on our channel, which you will be checking out as we speak if you're following us this evening, um, and some more on the Frankie and Danny show um, our Oriwala Costa information and entertainment channel, which we will be promoting further. Probably yeah. and, Frankie. And, and, and may I add lots more to come as well. Lots more to come, but more probably more Frankie and Danny when the when the great epidemic, great pandemic has calmed down. Yeah. Well 
we we have a, and I'm sad to say this tonight, but I'm going to say it on air tonight. But I think you know then. But yep. the World Health Organization has announced pandemic tonight. Official status. We anticipated it, but it's official. Yeah, and it was my worst fears came true tonight, oh, but yeah. we just have to face it. Yeah, this yeah. is obviously an Irishman speaker here, Frankie, but you've got very, very few cases in Ireland, haven't you, in the Republic? Well, that's anyway. right. That's that's correct at the moment. They're, the problem is that it's such a small country that um, and that all the, the towns and cities are all so close together it could easily spread if it did get a grip of it. That's right. That's right. Small territory. Yeah. Quite concentrated that's, in the cities. Yeah, it is. It's that's correct, and um, that's why we had to cancel St Patrick's Day. Yes, because it is the kind of place where people move around a lot, isn't it? Really, to to visit friends and family, and um, you know, you might you might get folk from Dublin going down to Cork or Galway, I guess. And um, but uh, fortunately, a service of Ireland, you know, you got the famous famous. Um, Cities of 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 Republic of Ireland, but um, you, there's not there's not a centralised outbreak like we've seen in Spain, sadly, where we've had an incredible, incredible spike in cases, haven't we? In España, where that's we're correct, really, you know, really, yes, absolutely remarkable. Yeah. We've now got two thousand one hundred fifty two in Spain. Now we're we of course are very remote from the capital, but there we are. Half of the cases, one thousand and twenty four in Madrid. 31 fatalities in the Spanish capital. Um, where the others are, I have no idea. Quite a few I heard in the northwest, in the northwest, which is the Basque region, um, Astoria, yeah. and around there. But not so much down here. Um, I'm going to try to get a bit of detail where somebody, one second, Dan, I'm going to try to get a bit of detail where somebody's are in the country for you. Um, I'm reading off the website that um, a few senior Spanish politicians have gone down with COVID. Um, the Speaker of Congress, in that American style, like Nancy Pelosi, Anna Pastor, she has it now. Um, several, several cases in, in their parliament or, you know, legislature um, suggest that they, they might stop meeting. Um, this has been suggested of, of the UK too, but so far we've just got one case. We've got um, the famous Nadine Dorries from I'm a, I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here in the Australian jungle. Um, she's a lady who's 62, a kind of Euro, sort of Tory Euro skeptic, Euro loon, I call them. And uh, she's a former nurse, but she's been treating herself apparently in isolation and her labour. Um, her labour equivalent, um, who was, was meeting with her panel last week and was a bit worried about the infection too, so she's isolated. But no one else as such. Uh, you still looking there, Frankie? Because I was just about to say, yeah. we'd, we'd be very lucky in the UK and Ireland. We'd be very lucky, and our island status is really yes. working for us. Yeah. Um, and I say that, I say that with... Yeah, and, and I hope... I hope hope our board are going to keep control of it there and keep it away because it's, it's terrible. And I, w I would like to say that the Spanish government are doing all they can, but it, it's it's hard to keep it from spreading at the moment. You know, that's the problem. You it's know. not working, is it? Yeah. What's happened in the UK is that we've done very little at all. <laughs> all we've done is tell people, all the government and their, their, their scientific advisors, is tell people to wash their hands and to stay at home. There's been no like official closures of, say, cinemas. They've been closed today in Saudi Arabia. Schools have been closed um, all over France. Half of Italy has been um, has been isolated and quarantined. Of course, um, they've had an absolute um, uh, catastrophe there. Um, but in England, we've we've done nothing at all officially, apart from you, advice. You did. Yeah. The, the, the Cheltenham Festival, festival, I don't know if that was a good idea, to be honest. Well, let's go ahead, mate, because um, we've got we've had 10, 10 deaths now, sadly, in the UK, which pushes our, you know, our, our the fatality rate up to, up quite high, you know, towards 3% now, because we have relatively few cases. We have, um, well, that said, we've, we've, we've shot up to, I am, I am fibbing a bit there, we've shot up to about 456 now. So again, we've doubled in the and about five days. We've I'm just going to add in, yeah. if, you, if I may, um, the, uh, the numbers in Spain as we stand tonight now, at this time now, are yep. 
2,222 cases. There's 54 deaths in Spain, 54 people dead in Spain mm. with this tonight. Yep. And 183 have recovered. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's it's nice those people have recovered, but, you know, 2,000, you know, there's another two, there is almost another 2,000 who still have, have the infection there. So we will wait and see. That's and, and of course, for mortality, yes. Um, what would it do? Frankly, what is it in Spain, in this late game, the number of deaths? Yeah, the number of deaths as it stands at the moment is 54. Italy, buddy. Have you got Italy up there? I think oh, in Italy, Italy okay. In, in, Italy, in Italy, just one second, I'll just tell you now, one second, I'll just get That's the stats up now for this. Uh, I, I think it's about 500. <laughs> I'd like to just say tonight that it, Italy, Italy, as it stands at the moment, just at this time now, is 12,462 cases. Incredible. Incredible. Yeah, and I'm going to tell you, the total, uh, one second, um, let's see, um, in Italy, the total deaths in Italy as it stands tonight is 827. Yeah, and that is up, that was up nearly 200 overnight. So they are That's in peak... Peak epidemic now. That's right. No. Now the pandemic is not as important as the epidemic. We're still looking at epidemics in 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 a handful of company or handful of countries. Yeah, it's it's still about national governments doing their best to contain to contain the uh, individual epidemics. And uh, the British government, who, who likes to sort of break it from everything, <laughs> clearing as little as possible and being lucky, I feel. But as I said, you know, as I said, it's creeping up in the UK. You know, we'll be up to 500 soon. And if we see in a week we've got 1,000, then we'll have known that we're one week behind, bud. We're one week behind in closing schools, train stations, hospitals, airports. Um, we've done a lot of testing We've done a lot of testing, but people are still flying home from Italy, from other parts of the world, and uh, the government emphasis is still on self-voluntary, that's the word, the important word, voluntary self-isolation. Yeah, what, one one problem that, I do, that, that they do see is that there's 13 cases in South Africa at the moment, and the problem with that is that there are 7 million people in South Africa that have HIV, and oh, that yeah. could be a big problem. Yeah, yeah. Weakened immune systems, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, in the in South Africa, the government are very, very worried about that at the moment because if that's if that's lodges all over the country there, and these people that's all in the medication stuff, they could be open to this virus more than people that has you know standard immune systems. If you don't, know, you know? well, this is now we're looking at in well, it's a very particular country, South Africa, isn't it? Because the HIV cases are the vast majority are in the townships in the poorest parts yep. of society. And, of course, these, these are people who live in, in pretty pretty poor conditions. And um, we could see a very, very particular kind of developing world epidemic taking place there, you know, as you yep. say, mixed in with, with, with the threat of, of AIDS, you know, AIDS being provoked. Yeah, well, that's, right. that's right, because that's what that's I'm saying. They, they, they are, as I said, they're just worried about that because they have – they have a, it, it really magnitudes yeah. the uh, the chances that they could catch it because they already have. It's very easy when you have like HIV that that you can catch a, uh, like pneumonia as it is. So now with this that's virus, it's it, AIDS related illnesses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yes, that's it. Yeah, that's correct. So yeah. obviously, there's individual challenges in each country. Um, in Spain, we're I speak for the two of us. We're not Spanish speakers. We don't absorb a lot of Spanish media. On TV. Um, but as far as we know from the British media, it's mostly up in Madrid. Um, we, uh, we're kind of, we've been questioning um, the uh, efficacy of, we, and the will of the Spanish authorities to do a great deal in terms of precautions and emergency measures. Because, uh, frankly, uh, this country is about tourism. It's about tourism. It's about people, a steady flow of tourists from around Europe um, coming to enjoy the sun here whether that be winter or beach holidays in, in the summer. 